Well, it's our last weekend of March, and it does not feel like spring at all. In fact, the temperature cooler than what we've had several days this week, and it's raining. Take a look at the radar right now. We're in round two of some of this wet weather pushing in from west to east. You saw that activity earlier push from west to east across the area right around dinner time, and then we saw a little bit of it try to change over to some snow in portions of Somerset County. Now the next wave is just across, just across the uh, Ohio-Pennsylvania border there, up through portions of Lawrence County, northern Beaver County, and then a pretty good burst of that coming through southern Beaver County and then headed over across I-79. So over the next half an hour, everybody's going to start to get another round of rain, and that will persist the rest of the night until we get to tomorrow morning when the temperature starts to drop. So we have a winter weather advisory that's going to take effect for eastern Westmoreland and Fayette counties, Somerset, Garrett counties. This starts at 1 a.m. It goes for 24 hours. That's because we'll see the best chance for accumulating snow in those areas. So here's the bigger picture. You can see some of that changeover already starting up toward the Bradford area, up toward uh, really the, the border with New York and Buffalo, Toronto have had snow showers all day. Then we have wet weather back toward eastern Ohio and then the next round of cold air pushing across Lake Michigan. You can see that change over to snow in through western lower Michigan. So what's going to happen overnight tonight? Well, you see these temperatures. We've been pretty steady all evening at 40 degrees in Pittsburgh. We're down to 34 in Somerset, 39 in Indiana. As the cold front pushes across Ohio and arrives here tomorrow, the temperature will drop and through the day tomorrow, we'll see the battle between rain and snow showers change over to snow and the temperature will fall sharply later tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. So accumulating snow likely in the ridges and the higher elevations of the laurels, a little accumulation everywhere else. It'll be slushy and slick travel conditions as we head through tomorrow. Here's Futurecast. See that changeover by around 3, 4 a.m. in through the laurels. And even by 6 a.m., most of us will wake up to some rain, snow showers, starting to battle it out, and then the snow will win out. By lunchtime, everyone getting snow showers. It'll be windy, chilly, blustery. And there you see by later tomorrow evening, the snow showers stick around in the mountains. That's why we're looking at higher snow totals possible there. By Sunday morning, most of the activity tapers off west to east, except in the laurels, and that's why we're looking at those higher totals. So how much are we expecting? Well, looking at about an inch of snow falling across much of the area, a lot of it's going to melt. Really, the accumulations will be on grassy surfaces, maybe uh, overpasses, bridges. And then you see that chance for one to three up to the north and then three to six in the highest elevations. The temperature tomorrow does not make it past 40 degrees. And as we head through Sunday, another first alert weather day, the snow tapers off. We're back to sunshine. Monday, Tuesday, we climb back to 60 for Wednesday, Thursday.